Hello everyone. Today we'll learn about the properties and styling of the List View widget. It allows you to create a list of repeatable rows of data. As per your UI, you can add other widgets in a List View to display data which is in the form of an array of objects. You can also visit the documentation of this widget available in the description below. To have a better understanding, let's create a quick demo app where we'll connect our list view with a data source. To start with, at the bottom click and expand the query panel. Now click on Create Query and click on REST API as the data source. Select the Get operation and enter the API endpoint. You can find the endpoint in the description below or simply add your own. Click on the Preview button, scroll down and look at the data. Now click on Create and Run to save your data source. You can expand the inspector and click on the query, REST API, and then Data to check the added data. Let's quickly create a UI to display our data. For that, we'll drag and drop a few widgets on the canvas. Let's first drop the List View widget. Expand it up to your use case. Now we'll drop the image widget inside the list view. We'll also use a text widget, so let's place it just beside the image. Now inspect the list view widget and in the list data, we'll add this value. You can pause the video to copy the value. This is the data that we're seeking from the API endpoint and wants to display in the list view. The data should be entered in the form of an array of objects where each object contains the keywords that will connect with other widgets used here. Let's inspect the image widget and in the URL property add the following value. You can access the respective keys from the object using the keyword list item. Similarly, inspect the text widget and in the text property add this value to access the first name from the object. Now we'll quickly dive into the styles and properties by inspecting the list view. Row height. Enter a numerical value between 1 to 100 to set the row height of the list view. You can decrease the value and resize the widgets to create your UI. I'll be using the default value which is 100. Show bottom border. This property allows you to show or hide the border present at the bottom of each list item. We'll use the default value which is true. An event handler can be added to this widget. We have got a row clicked event that is available here. You can perform various actions so we would suggest you explore different action types. The event handler is added successfully. Now when we click on any list row the event will be triggered and we can see the pop-up message. Tool tip. Under the general accordion, you can set the value of a tool tip. Let's try it out by entering the following value. Now when we hover on the widget we find the tool tip with the assigned value. Layout. Toggle on or off to display the widget in desktop and mobile view. You can programmatically determine the value by clicking on FX to set a Boolean value. Now let's explore the styling of this widget by clicking on the Styles tab. We have the following options. Background color. You can change the background color of the widget by entering the hex color code or choosing a color of your choice from the color picker. Let's try it out by adding a different color. Visibility. We can toggle it on or off to control the visibility of the widget. I'm keeping it to its default value for now. Disable. Toggle on to lock the widget. If toggled on, we won't be able to select the widget and it becomes non-functional. You can programmatically set both the above values by clicking on the FX button. It accepts a Boolean value. Our final list view widget will look like this. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for the latest updates.